It's McLaughlin, it's Paul McLaughlin in as far as Curtis Gary. There's a hand in from Tom Marr. Was it a push in the bike? It was a push in the bike. About 35 yards out if he, from the... If he, if he hits this in. It's Mikey O'Connor. Oh, he's going to kick this off. He's left about 35 yards out, just outside the top of the D. He kicks it high. All eyes are on the ball. It goes high and it goes over the bar for the first score of the game. The umpire waves his flag and it's Blessington one point and the Jers no score. Someone to give it to. He gives it out as far as Andy Marr. Marr drops the ball inside. There's something after falling here. Out behind me, boys. Mick McLaughlin. McLaughlin charges forward. It's not. It's Paul McLaughlin. McLaughlin off his left foot and it's two points to no score. And the Jers seem to be struggling with that kick out there, John. Along with the ball again, men slip everywhere. Ball breaks in as far as that man, Jack Cotter. Cotter charges forward. He gives it to Gavin Murray. Murray finds a man all on his own. The far side is Patrick O'Connor. The Jers marking is all over the place. This happened the last day as well. Patrick O'Connor swings a right bow this Patrick O'Connor kicks it high and kicks it over the bar and it's all blessing the near the Jers haven't been star forward up the field pops the ball out to Patrick O'Connor the O'Connors are doing untold damage at this early stage of the game back in as far as Paul McLaughlin McLaughlin steps inside his man he's wrapped up by Kerwin gives it out to uh, Patrick O'Connor out again as far as Jack Cotter who's come to join the attack number 12 is on the ball David Boatman Boatman steps inside his man there's three Jers men around three Jers men can't get a hand on him it's high and it's over the bar from 30 yards out and it's 4 nil to Blessington here out outside him is Patrick O'Connor he'll come in or Mike O'Connor will come in back into Patrick O'Connor the O'Connors are rolling the roast again off the right foot it's this time it's Kevin Hanlon and this time it's high and it's over the bar and it's a five point game here blessing than five points Art Lodgers no score here at the minute and in these conditions five points is a big lead John huge lead the Jersmen. the Jers now are putting a little bit more pressure on the ball but they're broken through Kevin Hanlon pops the ball inside to Jack Cotter Cotter gives the ball outside as far as uh, David Boatman is no Goes across the scene, starts Gerdy in front of the goal shot, oh, just over it. And it was Patrick O'Connor gave that ball in. Gary he turned his man and he skims the crossbar away in the corner. Healy wins this one, he wins the foot race with McLaughlin, first time for that. Healy has a look up, he comes all the way back out again to Chris O'Brien. O'Brien pops a ball inside as far as Stephen, uh, Hurley. Stephen Hurley. Hurley does really well, he slips to the ground, Andy Marr takes it off. It's a give and go with Philip Gleason. he's about 50 yards out from the the hospital goal it comes in to the corner forward who is Kyle Kelleher Kelleher has a kick and Kelleher puts it high and he puts it over the bar and six points to Blessington now one to Art Lodgers after 13 minutes makes the mark does really well Curtis Gary is all on his own here just 21 yards out he's bombing down the line Mikey O'Connor's inside with a chance Gary he goes himself kicks it high and kicks it over the bar but again the marking from the Jers once the, once the mark was called the Jers just stopped the ascendancy the Jers the last day on kick outs and went short to a hold their own. Yeah. Now yeah. today they're going long and they can't win. I just don't understand why they don't change it back. This time it's Anton McLaughlin kicks it high from the 45 and kicks it over the bar. A wonderful score from McLaughlin off a wet sod. And he does get a foot on it then when it breaks off. Uh, Kyle Kelleher, but Tom Mars continued his run. He's done really well. Hand in, it didn't. Oh, it's a free in. A free in to the Jerry. Of, of, of a free at the end of it all, but. Uh, Philip Healy takes this one from the 21, straight in front of the goal, kicks it high and over the bar, 8 points to 2, we've probably turned it Yeah, yeah. It's in as far as uh, Carmack O'Shea, O'Shea does really well, he's gone by Stephen Bone, but he's 3 men then for company, brilliant play by the blessing the backs, but Stephen Hurley gets his phone, goes low oh. to the keeper's left, soccer to along the ground, and a brilliant stay by Stephen Kitt, and the ball has gone high and wide. Comes in, picks up the ball and wins the free. That's a bit more like it from Arkland now. Just getting a few bit of dirty ball. Fair play to uh, Kyle Keller there fighting against two totem poles. Ball and in. it's inside. The ball breaks inside. Carmel Crochet's turning man. Great play by Shot low. No, oh. Brilliant save by Kit. Box back out. He went in along the end line. It comes out as far as Patrick O'Connor. Takes a heavy hit after the ball there from Chris O'Brien. And a free ball outside as far as Andy Marr. Marr goes for the ball. He has Barry Murphy to goes for company. Marr turns him on the inside. Good play by Marr. Pops it out as far as Dara Fitz. They need a score from this now. Great pressure. Again, it's high. It's lofted. It's a big kick. It's under. It's a goal! It's oh! straight into the back of the net. A goal for Art Lodgers. The game is back on in Akram. It's a big, it a big massive ball up from uh, in from Dara Fitz. Uh, JP Hurley followed it in. I see dumb players are looking at each other but they're very quick to put up a green flag. Is on it. The Jarrers are starving in, it's Dara Fitz again. He's come along the end line, he's still coming on the end line. He's only about five yards of boxes it across. In the early, oh, oh. save this time by Kit. Kit does really well, but it's blocked down. Pops it back out to want another score. Carl Carroll.
Darwin is on it. Back inside. It's all go for goals now. Big McLaughlin comes out. Injury or not. Hoofs the ball out. He's foul kicking the ball and it comes out underneath. Takes the ball on. He's lifting the siege. He travels to the 65. Gives a low ball inside to Kyo. Kyo misses it. Breaks inside. Chris O'Brien mops up. Gives it back as far as Cal, Cal Kelly. Kelly. Cal Kelly does really well. Pops the ball back inside. But it's broke down. Yeah, Gavin Murray. Murray finds Mikey O'Connor. Back to Murray. Murray bearing down the goal shot. Brilliant save. It's out as far as Gary. Low. Goal. A blessing then. Just as we said. Just as we said. The jurors were resurrecting. Another nail into the hands. And to the cruise that they did but it's that man uh, Paul McLaughlin wearing 29 votes of all inside the game has opened up this is danger again it's pa- Mikey O'Connor takes on James Terrell Mikey O'Connor steps up pops it eye and over the bar they've weathered the storm John. they have a bit and that was, that's the matchup they don't want you know it's not the day for it down there but Patrick O'Connor they're still in possession they're trying to suck the life out of this jersey defence at the minute they're working the ball O'Connor strikes with his left foot but looks to be gone straight across the square it is Owen oh, Keogh breaks the Keogh pause the ball back out as far as Kevin Hanlon Hanlon's kicks off his right foot to stand I'll tell you that it's over the bar it's high it's over the bar it's an 8 point game now and after a nervy side as far as Carmel O'Shea O'Shea is turned by the hard working Patrick O'Connor all the way back there well again it's just lobbed across the square to Philip Healy Brock inside to Tier McBride McBride ball outside to Jamie Harley Harley oh, oh, another, major. another goal here it's all happening in the second half here in Barton Glass 2-2 two, two to Arkledgers 1-10 to Bless then eight points to 13, five point game again, John. Huge boost again. It goes short this time. To go short, it's Andy Marr takes the ball back from Jack Hamilton. Andy Marr is he pulled down? He is pulled down. A chance, surely, for Philip. Uh, free takers in the county here, and uh, this is his first shot of goal today. As the first, sorry, second shot of goal as a free, and it's over the bar. It's two, three, hearts of yours. Blessington one, ten. Not we easy, there's nothing. Six or a three. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Or maybe a goal, as we said. But look, the ball breaks inside again. Mar took a quick, he had a quick one to Kyle Keller. Pops the ball back inside to Philip Healy. On that right foot again, it's in danger area. Kit comes for it. Kit misses it. Oh. It's boxed high by Harley and it's boxed over the bar. He's absolutely owning that square in there, lads. It'll be an indirect free to our clodgers. About 37 or 8 yards out. The ball's popped into Carmack Highland from that. To Andrew Mar. Andrew Mar puts his boot through. That's a massive kick from Mar. It's a brilliant oh. kick. Oh, there is some five. score. And it's he, over the bar, he, and it's 2 5 to AGB. He One did, he did something similar last. Finds Chris O'Brien. O'Brien is back up from the injury. All right, underneath the stand in the middle of the field. Low searching ball inside. It breaks as far as Carmack Highland. Highland does really well. Ball is on the ground, though. He picks it back up. He pops it out as far as McBride. McBride. Brilliant. Out to Tiernan McBride is 19, lads. No, he's a McBride as well. Oh, inside it breaks inside to JB Hurley pops the ball off surely he goes oh, 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 and the Jurors are in the lead here in Blessing or in Barton Glass. It's three Turn five. The game on. It's an absolute hit. One down to Blessing then. As far as Dara Fitz, is he the right man to marshal this now? It's a long time to run a clock down, but Dara Fitz puts ball on toe, goes up underneath the stand. He pulls away from Dar- David Boatman. He does really well. He's, he dummies a hand pass. He's on the 14. He looks to have a kick. He'll recycle back as far as Carmack Highland. Highland has a look, pops the ball back out as far as Steve. Even Harley, Harley steps inside. Should he have shot into Darren McBride? McBride swarm a blessing of men around him. Back out as far as oh Chris O'Brien is high. It's over the bar. Chris O'Brien it's again. over the bar, and what a time to take control of a game. We're in injury time here well in Barton. Well into it, We're well into injury time. It's three six to the Jersey. Two minutes to go. Two, Two minutes, minutes injury to, to go. go here. It's one ten to Blessington. Blessington looked dead on these conditions. Another fantastic game. It's lobbed in by Paul McLaughlin. It's high. There's bodies under. Gavin Murray takes it out of the heavens. He's surrounded by arms out from the Jersey. All around. Busy Free playing. out. Free, free out. out. That's free as good as a score. That's it. Kick it out into the stand. Drive it into the hospital or however you have to do it. Get rid of it. That's as good as a score, lads. Like, Devin Murray had to pluck in the monster he out of the sky. It long out. And that man, up. look who it is. It's Dara Fitzgerald. That's it. It's all over. Our Clodgers are in the first final since 1963, I'm nearly sure, where they played Barton last. They're back in it in... Ni- in 2019 they'll face St. Pat's next Sunday if it's anything like the last two games with these two lads you can't miss it.